The yeah. man putting music on, probably. So, Diddy Kong, Yushi, with Banana the four. purple Tims. Now, I have it from a source that 8-Bit Man's Yoshi experience is limited, so that could could be a factor. Could hurt him a little bit. But at the same time, 8-Bit Man plays such an active Diddy Kong that he should be able to adjust really well on the fly. I think he just has a lot of experience in general, so he'll learn pretty quickly. That said, Hex doesn't mind keeping a quick pace to a match. He will definitely fight. He will come and bring the fight to you. Wow. Good power shield grab there. And that hit him out at the double jump. Oh, wow. Eggs take out banana. Good to know. And he can't Yo. side beat. Alright, so Hex with the jab cancels. Good forward smash on the monkey flip. <gasps> oh, is that Does it? Does he have enough juice? Oh, got the rising there, but that was a two frame. Oh, and it hit him out of his double jump it. armor. That's obnoxious. Hex did everything right, only for Diddy Kong to say, privilege. He did everything right except one thing. He did one thing wrong. Sorry about that. So now Hex giving great chase. I thought he... Oh, good rising there. Mm -hmm. One I, interesting thing about this matchup is a lot of stuff that Diddy throws out is not as safe as you'd think. Well, yeah. Yoshi with the double jump armor... The heavy armor could just kind of like, all right, I'm going to kick right through this with my Nair. Trades are good for me. I'm heavy. And one thing Hex knows how to do is punish Diddy. That was a really good pivot grab. And uh, Ape Man's doing a really good job of just taking what he's given. He's no longer trying to just press his advantage. Oh, boy. He's, oh. Trying to do, he's starting to do the really ignorant barrel stuff. The MVD inspiration. That was a really good pivot oh. grab attempt right there. Oh, he got the Nair. He got the Nair, put him into and a fastball. Fast wow. As soon as he hit him with that Nair, Diddy Kong had just like the negative free fall momentum. He, there was no chance of him even making it back, even if he got the barrel charges to like an even higher amount. And then Hex going down there, exclamation point. Saying, that's my stock. Hmm. Town and City? All right, yeah, makes sense. This actually is a really dangerous counter pick. Um, yeah, really dangerous counter pick because Yoshi, Yoshi is more, more or less a vertical killer. Yeah, these shorter ceilings are gonna there. benefit him, and these platforms give him good juggle opportunities. But the sides of blast zones oh are pretty small too. However, this has always been a predominant Diddy Kong stage since the beginning of time. Again, with the eggs taking out the bananas, 8 Man was getting ready to run in, grab banana, and the egg was like, nah. Oh, that's trouble. Okay. Ooh, that banana actually saved Hex there. Well, that was actually really close. Yeah, he might die soon. Wow. No, the cross the stage barrel blast. Banana up smash should kill. Good jab there from Hex. And here we go. Let's see the punish. And really smart there by Hex. Just you have to respect barrels, and then Yoshi has plenty of foot speed to make up the distance. Mm -hmm. And a projectile, if anything. Wow, that was so quick. That was actually a really good choice there. You get an attack as soon as you come out. Oh, you Kong in trouble. And again, wow. like being able to choose when you make the barrels explode is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Diddy Kong temporarily turning into Sheik. The fair plane. Ooh. Ape Man in a really bad position here. It's, and yeah, he's definitely took, in a control. really stuck. Hex, though, Hex cannot take too much more damage if he wants to make this comeback. He's just taking all the hits. And that's, this is that active Diddy that we talked about. He's just been absolutely, wow, wow. out of shield, turn around, hip drop. The Hex special. It's so awesome to see that. That looks like it looks simple, but it's probably such a really difficult input to do it out of shield. But it looks oh, lost great the banana. Too. So here we go. Oh, good roll there. Just avoiding that forward smash. 
Hex running clean across the stage for that dash attack. He's got to chip away, but he can't even, he can't really trade too much anymore. But as we saw with Good last falling game. up bear. Here we go. Hex really is chipping dash. away. Oh, the oh, platform man. just brought him to the up smash. Like, the platform delivered it. And Ape it Man, Ape it Man was starting to lose the grasp of that game, too. That was, that was close. Yeah, he was just kind of throwing things out there, and um, Hex was kind of picking up on it, but it was too late at that point. It was already at kill percent. But as we saw with game one, Kimp's not that hard to do. It's very, very possible. It's not that I mean, possible, I should say. It's there, hard, were, there was but... a moment or two where 8 Man was in some serious danger. Mm. Uh, Banana came through the hero of the match. <laughs> Egg, deleting Banana again. I mean, you know, delete. Good grab oh. there. Okay. Okay, For, for the Man. fancies. Said, now's not the time to go for the silly stuff. Because, like, the recipe in game two was definitely effective. Just taking exactly what worked. Mm -hmm. Taking all that guaranteed percent possible. And plus, like, like the platforms are kind of messing up eggs just a little bit. He has to throw. Oh, got the air dodge read. Hex coming down with his own hip drop. What not a good do down too smash, too. He got the back hit of it, which is a lot stronger. Another good falling up air. That's the stuff that Hex needs to get. When he gets those, the damage just builds so fast. Falling up air is a gross everything to him. And if you're quick enough, an up tilt will do just the same job to hit another one. Oh, this might be stuck. Oh, no. Hex, Hex has to be really careful with those air dodges just because Diddy has the option to go land on the platform and chase him. I feel like that was a missing Oh, no. Tech. Gets hit by a charged peanut. That's a stock. Definitely. 8-bit dash dance. The quickest dash dance in the land. Wow. wow. Okay. That was really fast. 8-bit man is doing the cheese. That's that's literally the best way to describe it. Privilege. <laughs> Cause now he's he's got the momentum, he's feeling himself, and He's lapped Hex. Wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what a downer. He's putting on a show on this entire stock. Not even the Butt Stars can save Hex. Not really much Good Hex Nair can to do answer at this point. That. All, right, all right. Okay. Hex can still do this. Hex needs to put 8-Bit Man in an uncomfortable spot off stage. Probably could do that with the Nairs and the Jabs. He's just got to get him there. It's just a really scary yeah. position because... Well, Good answer there by 8-Bit Man before, he, before things got out of hand with those up airs. Banana up smash will definitely kill here. Oh, double jumps out of there with the armor. Because Hex got hit by that first hit. Didn't mm -hmm. care. The weak hit of the first hit. Ooh, that should that kill. That should do it, though. Even on Battlefield. Big old Battlefield. Death Star and Sabrick next on stream.